All right, hello and welcome everybody back to some raft today. Uh, I know we've been going uh, going pretty steady with the small land content for the last couple days uh, in honor of its release this week. Uh, but today, as it is Friday, we are back to good old raft. Um, you can see we're back in Tangaroa for a brief moment. I uh, basically just wanted to wrap up a couple of loose ends before we take off. Um, I basically have been trying to harvest the trees that are planted around the city here, and my goodness has that been taking a while. Um, I kid you not, I have been harvesting all of these uh, that you can see that would be in all these planters for literally the last 20 minutes. Um, this is now the fifth axe that I've used on the project, and I still have not quite hit everything. Uh, there are still some of these trees in the middle of kind of the main square and a few others scattered throughout the city. If I don't quite get everything, honestly at this point I'm okay with it because I've got a pretty good amount of wood and I am getting very tired of chopping trees. However, there are some trees that I do want to make sure I get and those would be the banana trees. Um, I know that we did leave some behind down here in the plantation after uh, we opened the full place up. Um, I think all of them were on this end, but let me just check back in this room. Guess I don't really need to play plantation parkour anymore. Um, yes, we did clear that room out. Um, it is nice now that the electricity is all turned off. So let's see, yeah, here we go. Here are some of those aforementioned banana trees. We need to get as many of those bananas as we can now, since this is our single spot we can collect them. Uh, none in here, and then that just leads to the elevator. This room back here, I think had one or two. Or three. So again, we'll just nab these real quick. Oh good, this one actually gave us some seeds, unlike the previous tree. And one more. We can call it good. Ooh, we got two seeds from that mix up for the other plant. Uh, one of the other things on the to-do list to wrap up is finally accessing the secret room. Um, I knew that there was something to do with the secret elevator button. I just couldn't quite remember which elevator and where it was. And I was, I know I didn't mention it much, but I did try to keep my eye out um, as we were going through. But I also started realizing, like, wait, we are going to be pushing this episode a bit long. And I think, yep, there is our secret button. So we are going to descend far, far below the depths of Tangaroa here. And I've never been to this room before. I've never seen this room before. I only knew that it existed. So, here we go. Kind of a messy little control area with a crate, some safes, and a cassette. Not bad at all. Uh, now, there very well could be other secrets in Tangaroa that we did miss, but as far as I know, this was the main one we wanted to make sure that we hit. Um, you know, not tons of titanium from it, but still a bunch of other good resources. And especially while we were grabbing the bananas right here, um, a nice easy one to access. So let's head on back out to the main level. And I think I'm just going to ignore the rest of those trees out in the central area. And I think that this should put us out actually pretty near our raft access. 
Um, so I think if I just go left, run past this guy, then our exit should be just right about here. Yep. There is the raft. Our raft is looking a little bit worse for wear. The shark has most definitely been, uh, having his fill. Uh, so we're gonna need to fix that up quite a bit. And, um, I know I have seen suggestions of getting, um, some armor around the outside. Uh, that is definitely going to be a long-term plan. It's just gonna be very much a long-term plan, uh, because it requires lots of both scrap and ingots. Uh, it's just an expensive process, and so with a raft this large, it is gonna take quite a while. Um, let's see, but in the meantime, uh, we could go cook ourselves up a little bit of ore. Let's throw this in the cooker. And it looks like I still had some left over here from a previous run. All good. Anything else I need to cook does not look like it. And I know I need to actually drop some wood off in the kitchen. We have a few other things to put away in here anyway. Uh, okay, I think the rest of that is looking pretty good. Uh, we still have updating our storage here on the to-do list. Um, so hopefully we can get to that today. And then I think the last random storage thing is putting our... Oh, we don't have any. Uh, the banana seeds in here. So with that out of the way, I think... The rest of all of this belongs in here somewhere. Oh, get the titanium. Um, so yeah, our wood chest is actually looking pretty decent. Uh, before I harvested all those trees, I think we only had about one row and filled up a little over two more. Uh, so not too shabby there at all. And uh, let's see, let's see. Uh, now that we're going to be back on the raft, I don't think I need those. I think we'll just carry a spear to boop the shark. And where were we keeping cassettes? There they are. Alright, and do I need some more tools? Let's get our hammer back out. Our hook back out. And we'll grab a fishing pole later if need it. Um, and then before we take off, I'm just going to keep throwing palm leaves in here as much as I can. Once again, our two palm leaf uh, uh, not barrels, um, storage chests have all filled up. And so... Uh, I've been stashing my extras just in here to designate them as, um, future trash cube fuel. Um, oh right, this battery is empty. We need a new one. But we can just kind of drift for now. Um, honestly, let's just open that back up and then we need to just kind of turn ourselves around here. And we're just going to follow the wind for a little bit. Because I am not urgently worried about getting us to our next destination. So, that's about right. Close enough. And then let's go ahead and get... I suppose I should harvest seagulls. We are getting a little low on meat. Since they're both right here. Um, yeah, I'll go ahead and get us a new battery and we can throw that on our navigation device. 
All right, feathers, meat will go in the other room. Dead batteries go here. And new batteries take some copper. They take, ah! Uh, they know they take some plastic, six plastic. And scrap. Boom, there we go. We'll throw that on our navigation system. And that works just fine now. Um, I suppose we may as well enter the coordinates. Um, that just certainly doesn't hurt. Um, Varuna 2387. So the 7 is already even there. So let's go 2, 3, 8, 7. And it's actually dead ahead ish so oh it looks like we might be getting some weather here shortly um it's weird lighting right now what is with this um ah there's the rain okay that makes more sense now um all right well i think maybe our next step is going to be fixing up the old raft because oh my are we in poor condition at the moment. This is looking rough. Um, so I'll see how much I can just fix with the supplies I pick up around the edges. Um, but yeah, I kind of figured we would be running out of plastic like that because plastic always seems to be a bit scarce. That's all right because we have more plastic saved up in the uh, storage chests than we do wood. So it all works out. Where am I trying to go here? Uh, plastic. Just gonna grab a bunch of that. And I think that will probably be enough to let us finish this on out if we keep kind of collecting as we go, but we'll see. All right, this side's looking a little healthier. Not too bad. And is, oops, we already had that rotated properly. All right, did we fix it all up? I think that we maybe did. Well, that's not terrible. Um, okay. I can put this stuff away and then we could sleep through the night just to get our daylight back. Looks like I've got another dead battery here. Going through them pretty quick. Alright, well we're getting there at least with those leaves. And I guess I can put the rest of the trash cubes in here as well. A bit of scrap. A bit of rope. And the rest is food, which is over where we sleep anyway. All right. I'll take all that meat. We can throw some drumsticks on the grill and uh, put pizza in there. There we go. We're in pretty good shape, I would say. Um rotate that water through. It looks like we are coming up on a little island. I'm just gonna throw us that direction a touch. And let's, uh, let's check on our animals, but I'm gonna grab the shears so we can get some more wool from Kuzco. Uh, that should be 
in here. Yep. And then, uh, I think let's take a look at our engine setup. I think that might be good. Um, and we should also see if they're... Oh, because it was raining, these replenished. Nice. Um, we can see if there's anything else we need to take care of at the workbench, the, the research table. Uh, looks like all the clucker eggs have despawned. Hopefully we get new ones soon. Um, alrighty. Well, otherwise the animals are looking just fine. So, uh, let's check that research table real quick. And we do have new things. Alright, we've got the large storage. We've got the water contain, the water tank, and the water purifier. Very nice. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna grab a bunch of scrap, and then I think, if I remember right, I wanted to be able to build more fuel tanks. And then I need some planks with that as well. And a little bit of bolts. Alright. We'll just see where that gets us. And let's check out our engine room. See what is going on back here. Oh, let me in though. Alright, so where we left it, we've got all the engines hooked up here. We've got all the engines hooked up here to a fuel tank. So, we do still need one more fuel tank. And we'll throw that one here so it kind of matches. And we need... Uh, no matter which way we do it, I think we need three more pipes for fuel, which means we need to make a couple more of those. So now this tank controls everything here, this tank controls everything here, but I think that I do want to link them so that we can just dump fuel into one or the other. It'll fuel everything up, and that will be... Very good. Um, okay. So, we had talked about, uh, potentially making battery chargers. Um, we do, apparently, at a later island, get battery, battery, battery. My brain is worn out this week. Um, better battery chargers, possibly for free, um, later on, and so it would potentially be a waste of materials to make them. However, I am burning through batteries at the moment, and so I kind of think maybe I just bite the bullet and do it anyway. Um... To whoever sent the comment that I do get the better battery charger or an advanced battery charger later, um, I do still really appreciate that advice. Um, and maybe I will regret this decision later. But, I think that we're gonna make battery each. We're gonna, we're gonna start with a battery charger. Um, I think a circuit board takes two copper, yes, and some fine goo. Okay. So, where did that battery charger go? Battery charger. We're gonna make one of those, and I'm gonna take our batteries with us, including that one. Um, and I suppose we also need a chest. Um, 
Let's see, let's see. So, we're just gonna keep using these wooden chests because we don't need fancy schmancy storage. Um, I need some rope and a hinge. That's not too bad. Rope is a little more than I needed. Whatever. And a hinge. Crap. All right. Oh, oh, oh. I want one more thing. We're gonna take our biofuel with us as well. All right, so now... Uh, bup, 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 there we go. Boom. I can put the battery charger there. And I can put a couple of batteries on it. And we can load these guys up with biofuel. And then they will empty down in just a second. And then we'll see these engine gauges fill up. And this thing will fill up, and it's going to charge up our batteries. Um, so, it looks like these could hold some more biofuel. And we did empty our biofuel reserves, and that is okay for now. Um, I think for the moment, I'm just going to throw a chest here for extra batteries. If I decide I end up wanting more battery chargers... Um, I'll put the second charger here, and then we'll start a wall of chests or something right there. Um, because we're probably- we may end up storing, like, extra biofuel in here at some point as well. But for the moment, this is not a bad little setup. And, uh, these are already charging at a decent pace, so... That'll be nice, we don't have to keep making batteries all the time. Um, yeah, that should be good. And, uh, yeah, these tanks now should last us a good while with the amount of biofuel we've got in there. Um, so that is some much needed updates. Now, biofuel. This has also been something I have wanted to work on for quite a while. Um, we need to be able to make our own biofuel. And luckily, we have biofuel refiners to do just that. Um, so... We're gonna make some. Um, so that needs plastic, rope, and either a bolt or a hinge, along with, of course, planks. Um, just gonna grab some more there. Grab some more plastic. Um, sorry, what was the other thing? Rope. We've got tons of rope. And we've got kind of an equal amount of hinges and bolts. I think I would rather save the hinges, because we're going to maybe use those for a bunch of chests in a minute. Um, so let's make, like, I'm going to make a few of these refiners if I can, which it looks like I can. Um, and you can see in the description here, mix raw food and honey to create biofuel. So we need some beehives so that we can make more honey. Um, so once again, it looks like we need planks, plastic, and then this time clay, and this one does require actual hinges, and then the actual bees. So I'm gonna grab more planks. Um, more plastic. How much clay do we have? Where do I even have the clay? We do not have much clay. That is good to know. Um, hinges. And bee jars. Okay. Well, we're limited by clay and bee jars. They actually have the same amount at the moment. That is interesting. Um, so there we go. That... Uh, there's three beehives for us. 
Now, beehives work better when they're surrounded by flowers. It's not too surprising. Bees, you need the pollen to make the honey. So, we are also going to make... Um, growing. There we go. Some more small crop plots. And... I forget exactly what the ideal setup is. Um... But we're just gonna make a lot. Probably even more than what we want. I'm gonna start with like eight. That's that's more than what we'll need. And we're gonna go make our little our beehive room. I believe apiary? Is that what that would be? Um, okay, I think that side would be the front. Um, because it has the bees on it. Let me let me just throw one in the middle of the room and look. Yeah, I think the one that has the heart is the front. I don't know how much it actually matters, But we're not gonna have, like, optimal spacing or anything in here. I'm not worried about that. Because right now we just don't have very many beehives. We need a lot more bees, ultimately, uh, to be worried about optimal placement and things. And I should- whoopsie! Um, I should actually- Uh, what am I doing? There we go. I think I should actually make one more of these crop plots, because I think it would be nice. I think we're going to go... Actually, I think it's four. I think four by each is, like, the optimal... Although, we probably have them close enough that the other, um, the other flowers are gonna count. So, maybe we do just three by each. And then I will go make one more small crop plot and put it in front here and then we'll come back with our flower seeds as well. We should probably make some light and put it in there just so that it looks nicer. And then... Get that all watered. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. let's see. One of these, please. Okay. And then... Uh, lighting. That would be in decorations. And I like the metal lantern. Yeah, we'll do the metal lantern, so I need a piece of glass. Oh, and I didn't bring the flowers, did I? There we go. Light this place up. 
Oh, and I'm dehydrated. And I'm hungry. Oh, no. Well, we've got... We've got the right stuff to fix that. All right, so this is what it'll be for now. And let me go grab flowers. Let's see. Oh, gosh. Oh, first chest I tried. I was going to say, I have no idea where I tried. All right, so we've got, what, nine chests. Nine chests. Nine garden plots. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. Yes, we have nine garden plots. And each take three, so we need 27 flowers. Um, so if that's four, eight... 12, 16, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8. All right, what color do we like the least? I guess white would maybe be the most boring. So that's that should be 27? If I'm not crazy, which I probably am. Um, why don't you have water in you? Hey, it's the... No, that's not the radio tower. I bet that's where we're supposed to be going. That is where we're supposed to be going. Uh... We'll... Drop anchor for the moment. All right. So we'll go like one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just make it I'm trying to be as random ish as I can. still needs a flower. Alright, I think we did it. Alright, we're getting bees, so I think we did it right. Come check on this every once in a while and uh it should gradually fill up with honey um i guess the last thing i really should do is leave a chest in here maybe for the ex or for the honey we harvest um but it's not a huge deal um i could also maybe put some wall boxes of these um above each hive maybe some window boxes as well if we really wanted to kind of fill this place. Um, but I, I think we'll be okay. But there we go. Little uh, start of our biofuel production. And uh, also what we could do is like in this room, uh, put a bunch of garden plots and have them be like potatoes and beets uh, specifically to be the food portion. Uh, let's get these guys going. There we go. Uh, that's working. I need a better battery in there. And then I can store... Honestly, I could store the good batteries in there, too. Okay. So, that's the start of biofuel production, but we also need to put our actual biofuel containers down. And I think that we're going to do that just right in here. 
because we should have plenty of walking space still. So if we just do that, we can still walk around here. And again, it's the engine room. It's not supposed to be pretty. It's all meant to just be functional. Um, okay. Well. That is all looking pretty good. Um, I kind of want to... Well, let's take care of our animals. They're, they're looking sad. Sorry, guys, are you hungry? This is one thing we should get going here pretty soon, is a sprinkler system for these guys so that I don't have to come and give them water myself. But that might be for not right now. But getting a water tank at least somewhere on the raft I think would be a good idea. Okay, we got grass growing there. Alright, that's everywhere but one spot. That's That should be good enough, I think. Oh good, chicken is all done. Uh, do I have any more elsewhere? All right, while we are in here, can I make more chests? No, I don't have the rope. Let's take care of our kitchen storage problem. All right. Need more planks. And more scrap. Uh oh. Scrap. Scrap problems back. Uh. Alright, well, there's at least. We can get a set of six instead of a set of three. That will at least help. everything in and then we'll sort afterward. I don't know why I'm clicking everything. Obviously, my inventory is full. Okay. Do I still want to keep some over here and some over here? I guess maybe if I had some go- if I had these going atop that wall instead, maybe that's what we do. Wait, why do I even have explosive powder in there? That's not right. Um, okay, well let's... I think I maybe do like that plan. Let's change where this stuff lives. Let's put our shelf on this wall.
go. Honestly, I think that the cat thematically works better with these guys. If I can fit everybody. Just like that. There we go. Uh, candle can stay, and everybody loves a shoe on the kitchen table. All right. Uh, so we're going to move that eventually. Okay. So I still like this for uncooked... <coughs> Right. <coughs> Wait, no! I thought I refilled it. It's okay, we'll go eat a coconut. Alright. So, I still think maybe... Left of the grill, let's do uncooked food. Like uncooked meats. And then over here, I think we're gonna do like finished things, so let's throw that in there, and I can start moving this over. About the same height, slightly lower. That's pretty good. Um, okay, so uncooked meats, we could do just, like, ingredients that are specifically ingredients, and then I might put, like, dishes and other recipes, so if I just grab dish, dish, recipe, recipe... I know it's a little bit of a waste of like a whole chest, but it makes me happy. Um, ingredient, ingredient, ingredient. And I know that mushrooms are technically a food, but I would use them mostly as ingredients. Honestly, same with eggs. And I'm gonna eat that cooked meat. Okay. Alright, so that's just ingredient things. Then we've got just like fruits. We've got like fruits, veggies, we'll have meals, and meats. I want to keep the beets and potatoes separate for a second. And meats. I think we'll just do like a little bit 
of beets and potatoes in here. Let's sort that. There we go. We'll have our meats, and then in here we'll do dishes. And then I'm gonna go bring this to the biofuel section because I think that's how we're gonna fuel all of our biofuel. Once again, it's just the spamming into all of these containers. Just like our uh, recycler. <laughs> So we're down to five beets. I will just throw those in there to also be used as biofuel until we get a better storage system worked out for that. Slightly less important than this one at the moment. And then in here, I would keep cooked meals or smoothies, which I just don't have any of at the moment. Um, yeah, I am happy with that. I think the only other chest I would maybe add is if I could keep a little bit of fuel in here. Um, let's put the picture over here for now. And, uh, we'll maybe mess with recipe organization another time. But that's the kitchen in much better shape. It was getting real rough there for a while. Okay. Uh, ooh. Sounds like we're getting some eggs in here. So before I go run to bed, especially because it's raining, let's harvest anything we can. Um, I've got some shears, where, there's our llama. Why are you sad, buddy? You've got lots of grass. Um, alright, I think that is everything. I need you guys to back away from the gate. There we go. Excellent. Oh my, he went flying. Ooh, let's check on our bees. Hey, we're starting to get honey. I can technically pick up the honeycomb, but I don't think it's, like, fully ready yet. Um, I think it should keep producing more. Um, I could be wrong on that, but I think we're going to let it sit for just a bit longer. Um, but hey, it's, uh, it is working. That is good to see. And, uh, so the, um, to see the biofuel refiners in action. Now, it says it needs honey, and if we look back in our the chest. We have honeycomb, not honey. Uh, to make the honey, we have to take this with some glass, and that is how we make our honey. So, there is a bunch of honey, and we can run that over. To the biofuel refiners and while we're trying to get 
a bunch of this going. We can fill all that up with honey. And these will start filling up. So I'll just leave the rest of the honey in here as well. And uh, let that just kind of do its thing. Okay, so with all of that stuff out of the way now, um, I might dump my inventory. And I guess we could start making our way over to the, uh, um, is it Verona? Basically our next destination. What was the place called? Varuna. Varuna Point. Okay. Let's see. Blay goes back in here. Wool goes in there. And then the rest of this should be pretty easy. Um... I don't know what we do with explosive powder. Um, let's see, our scrap. Maybe I don't have a spot for it. Uh, I can do that for now. Oh, it's right there. I'm just blind. Okay. There's that. Feathers go in here. Pipes. Uh, let's do a different one for... Eh, no, it can go with the other built things in here. And then the rest we've got is food. Cool. All right, let's weigh the anchor. Let's turn that on. Turn on the engines. Make sure they're going forward, and they are. And we need to go right over here. Luckily, it is very, very clear where we're headed. Oh, and I should probably raise the sail because it's not going to be helping us out. Now, I think I'm just going to kind of come get us parked over here for today. Um, because I think that we are pretty much running up against our typical episode time. So, um... I apologize that it was a bit of just kind of a, uh, kind of run around and do random tasks kind of thing. We didn't really get any kind of, like, major building done and not a lot of exploration, but a lot of times in rafts, like, this is the kind of stuff that is ultimately really important, is just kind of making sure all of the little tasks get done. Um, and it's very easy to try to, like, just be jumping location to location, um, and, uh, not, not getting all of your upgrades in place nicely, and, like, there's still a lot of stuff that I've been meaning to do, some of which we got today, and some of which we still most definitely need to keep working on. So, this place is looking quite interesting. It's hard to tell how close we're approaching based on how the waves are coming and the direction of our raft. I think this should all be pretty good. That looks like maybe where we actually dock. Because I'd don't know that we can get in there. That almost looks like a zip line. Oh, I think I need to stop us. Yep, we just hit. Okay. Let's power down. Let's turn you off. 
And yeah. I think that we are basically here. This is nuts. I really hope we don't have to climb all that, but I've kind of got a feeling that we do. That is going to be intense. Um, or maybe we just build our raft up to pop over. Um, that honestly might make more sense. Um, but regardless, this is going to be an interesting place to explore. Are those jellyfish? Okay, we gotta at least, like, check that out. Whoa! This place is colorful! I'm guessing that's where we're gonna go. Oh, they look scary! Interesting. Well, I think we're gonna have some fun adventures ahead of us next time checking this place out um yeah that is nuts um well dang um again this is gonna be my first location with you guys uh that i have never seen before um because again the everything up to here was in uh, early access and this was the first uh major location that was added in the 1.0 uh, chapter 3 full release. So, um, I know absolutely nothing about what we're walking into, and I'm excited about that. Um, it should be quite a lot of fun. Um, so, ultimately, I don't have really too much more for us to work on today. I think any of kind of the other projects that I have in mind um, for us to work on in the future are going to take quite a bit of work um i guess one thing that we might try to throw together real quick just for the sake of having um better water access since that seems to be a little bit troubling for me is let's see if we could get a water uh, the nice water purifier built um because that would be nice to have, and the answer to that is possibly no, because we're low on scrap. And I might need scrap to make sure that we have the right tools for exploring uh, Varuna Point here. Um, so I think maybe we do go ahead and just call it here today. It may end up being a little bit on the shorter side of what we've been doing lately, but that is all right. Um, so anyway, I'm just going to keep kind of patching things up here. Um, I might do just a little bit of kind of planning and stuff um, on the raft between uh, now and our next episode, but again, because we're, we're low on a couple key items like the scrap, there's probably not a whole uh, lot more I can do. Um, so, uh, I think that that'll be all for today. Um, if you guys did enjoy the episode today, as always, I would really appreciate it if you left a like on the video. It helps, um, helps me out, helps the feed, the almighty YouTube algorithm, and lets other people find the video a little easier. Um, make sure that you guys are subscribed to the channel so that you can, uh, be notified when the next Raft episode comes out. And also check out some of the other, uh, survival series that I've got going on at the moment. Um, I've been going strong on a, uh, Grounded series for quite a while now, but I also, uh, just this last week, uh, started a new survival series on Small Land, which is a, uh, a new survival game new survival game that just went into early access as well um so that's been quite a bit of fun uh, here on the channel also um so make sure you guys are subscribed so that you can uh get a hold of all that action and um i hope that you guys have an awesome day and i will see you all very soon with the next episode see ya